Sir, during the Mark Puja, you mentioned realized monks would still have old habit pattern, cultural conditioning. The example was a particular monk calling other people Chandal. However, if the first three factors are foremost prerequisite to be transcended, then there should be no cultural conditioning in realized Arant monk. So, how is it that the habit pattern still remain? And this uh, question ko padke mujhe uh, realize hua tha ke uh, stillness flowing ki uh, teaching ke samay bhi humne ek particular section mein Ajahn Jaisaro ne yeah. uh, iska answer diya tha to I thought ke uh, I can Aap do na answer Sir, I, I uh, maine wo section dhoond liya tha so I think uh, ye, uh, uh, screen degree of it. So, yes, uh, good. It, it would seem obvious that any detailed discussion on person's life must sooner or later focus on his or her personality. It tends to be assumed that it is the personality that the essence of the person is to be found. But this apparent truism requires certain qualifications in case of a liberated beings or those pr practicing for liberation. In such cases, the personality is fluid. Personality traits based on defilement such as greed or greed and anger shrink and disappear. Those traits free of defilements like kindness and compassion grow and mature. In case of liberated beings, those character traits, eccentricities, and elements of personality that are not sustained by defilements survive their en enlightenment. Inarticulate aspirants become inarticulate errands. Stern aspirants become stern errands. Charismatic aspirants become charismatic errands. There is no fixed mound. And just as bright and radiant people may occasionally prove to be deluded or mentally unbalanced, so to the most unprocessing figures may in fact be fully liberated. Luang Por once compared enlightened beings to the birds of different species, differing in size, wingspan, coloring, sounds, and so on, but all recognizable recognized members of bird family. The second qualification that must be made in speaking of personality of enlightened being is that they do not have the same relationship to their personality as a normal person. Liberation in the Buddhist sense means freedom from all identification with personality and personal history. Be that as it may, enlightened beings identifying with their own body and mind cannot help but perceive an enlightened being in the same way that they perceive themselves as embodied agents. And it is because that is so that the personality of great being is significant. For many students, it may be a response to teacher's personality rather than an intellectual asset or to the teachings that proves to be the deciding factors to whether or not they take up the uh, Buddhist teaching seriously or having taken it up, bear with it. So I think uh, uh, that's very good. So that's, I think, answers the question.